Good morning. I am in a bit of a rush. <laughs> I don't even know if I've got time to buy food. I'm hungry and I'm off to work, so I need to find the time. I definitely should be better prepared in the morning. Um, definitely not sustainable to be buying food out as much as I have been lately. I just still feel so behind on everything, which is not very nice. Yeah, that's the reality of things. So I should be better, basically. But the best place for on-the-go porridge for vegans is definitely Leon. I really like the ruby red one, this one here, because it's just got so much peanut butter. Um, it's very wet. It's raining quite a lot. That falafel wrap I had earlier was pretty abysmal for seven quid. My god, I was not impressed. No, not, not good enough <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. So I'm actually off to a Halloween party. What have I got in my shop? Anyway, I'm off to a um, Halloween party on Friday. We're going to do a get ready with me, of course. Okay, so dinner tonight, we've got garlic butter noodles with baby corn and mushrooms. Sounds pretty decent if you ask me. I'm actually very confident this is like a seven minute meal. Definitely less than 10 minutes. Really easy, really delicious. I've made this before. I mean, you could 100% easily make this greener with like spinach or edamame, but I have what I had. I may have just filmed a TikTok. I'm gonna wash my hands, but the rest of this stuff, I don't think I'm gonna wash up until after breakfast, so I'm okay. Yeah, I'm just showing you how to do good fake blood, which by the way, it looks amazing. Now my issue with cooked tomatoes is they're often a bit too hot. Like they stay really hot for forever and they burn your mouth. So I'm gonna start smushing them now, just so that they're cool by the time I can eat them. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. <laughs> Get used to that. So I have ciabatta in here. I would love to toast it, I just don't have the energy, desire, etc. I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave, but it would taste tastier if you toasted it. We're using this garlic spread again. I'm just, I love it. It's so delicious. I am aware I look ridiculous, okay? We're just gonna enjoy breakfast. Garlicky tomato, sweet bready, lovely. I have to join a brand call. I didn't realize, you know. Oh, I didn't realize my camera would have to be on. Oh. So for lunch, I'm going to be making a tuna pizza. It's basically something I got gifted. I'm gonna make a TikTok on it for the company. It's from Sea Bloom and they're partnered with One Planet Pizza. I love both brands. Oh, and look at me. I am all fresh as a daisy. Like, look at this. Doesn't it sound delicious? This is what I'm gonna be using. I've been sent tons of light little toppings. I think it's plant-based plastic. There we go. There we go, caught on my skirt. Wow, it's really caught on my skirt. There's a thread, there we go. <laughs> That's the tuna. I kind of rate it. It's one of the best tunas I've had so far. I've learned today I'm not the best at making pizzas though, but um, 
Yeah, the tuna's all right. Oh my, I'm new here, I can't be doing that. Yeah, the tuna's pretty good, but I'm gonna, I've got quite a bit left over. So I'm gonna make it in other meals this week. So I basically have a podcast going live tomorrow. I filmed it last Thursday and the file's still not on the Google Drive and I've like messaged my podcast studio and they're just not getting back to me. I'm just being ghosted by them. So I'm actually having to go all the way to the other side of London to demand my footage that I paid for. I'm really not happy about this. I'm literally there tomorrow to shoot as well, but yeah, I'm really annoyed. Yeah, sorry, been low on battery, needs it to get home. But basically I went over there and my producer felt so awful, but like fair enough, I was a right bitch. I don't often get the chance to be a bitch at work sort of things anymore. So that was kind of fun to be fair. Yeah, sorted. I saw some friends and also I like my producer. So we did chat for a little bit and now I just need to go home and edit because I like to publish at 5 a.m. I was so not functional on this day. That's my favorite part. Um, please do like, um you don't like what you do in podcasts. Help me, Lucas. Review them. Review them. Please do leave us a review. Bless her. Bless her. It's the way I'm just like, help me, Lucas. Please. <laughs> For the love of God. It's me functioning on a hangover. If you watch this episode, it's such a good one. I've really enjoyed editing it. Thankfully, Laurie, she's the owner of Lackadon Strip. That's how long I go to all the time. She is so eloquent. She carried the episode. I was just like, feeble i was shaking i was not in a good way it's such a good episode i've just really thoroughly enjoyed this i'm <laughs> clearly i have not posted this in time i did a lot of edits last night but i got like a good chunk done but i'm not a night worker i just i can't i just can't so it's about 8 a.m it's gonna go live within the next 40 minutes i think but oh my god such a good episode um i hope you guys are enjoying the podcast if you're if you're listeners this one is like how to start a vegan business really good one yeah that just made me laugh okay breakfast day we're going for porridge nice and healthy and filling I don't mind this vegan tuna, but my housemate, he said it was grim, so. <laughs> so we've just done a podcast recording. Oh. How was it? <laughs> it was good. I chatted so much. Like yeah. Maybe too much? No, that's the point. Okay. Yeah. I said too much about myself, I feel. No. I exposed myself. Yes, we were exposed. A lot. It was an exposing one. It was an expose. It really yes. was. Yes, but we did that and I finally recorded the, the studio. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Woo, this is where we go. We're going to get food now, so come with us. So I found a Persian store that had this rice that I had grown up seeing at Shader's house like my whole life and I've always wanted some. They never really made it vegan or were certain if it was vegan. So when I finally found a vegan one, oh my god, I tried it, I loved it, it was just as good as it looked. I was really happy with this. And then me and Marsha kind of just, I guess, went out for the night. It just didn't end. We just were out and out and out. I don't wanna like make nachos and shit we're not making make nachos. nachos and shit hello like, so this is george we've like just nachos. made a friend george it's 3am here's Marsha. i feel like i'm quite sober uh considering i'm the... okay we've, it's, we've it's picked me. up a stray How no offense, george Wait, but, the, but, the, but the gay community love me apparently <laughs> i can't do anything we went to a gay club. That was a gay club? It was a gay club. Oh. We were out late. 
When did I get rid of them? I got rid of them at 8am. We're all like curled up on the sofa together. I can't believe Marsha managed to convince me to let that guy sit at mine. But yeah, we're all just weirdly curled up on the sofa. I feel like a student. I'm too old for this shit. My hair feels very naughty. Um, we had a good night. We had a boogie. It was good times. And now I'm gonna make myself some porridge because I am starving. Again, I think I said this last time. I was like, I wish I had bread. I'd love beans on toast, but I don't have any toast or beans still. So banana -y porridge. And then I'm gonna have a bath because this is yesterday's makeup still on and it's like 11 p.m. now. Yeah, so it's very similar to yesterday's porridge. Still looks delicious. This is some really good porridge. I want to try the snack first. Hey, I'm gonna get two uses out of this one. So I am off to have lunch. I might not eat. <laughs> I don't think I'll have a full lunch. I just have breakfast, but I'm off to see one of my old colleagues. I haven't seen her in a while because I've been out of London. So it's been nice to do our little lunch date. Um, I ate my cookie. I've got to film it. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's cute. Oh, sticky. It is such a lovely day today. Really nice and sunny. Oh my god, guys. Um, my first. Sorry, let me take these out. So I just got my first ever vinyl record through in the post. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Oh my god. Midnight. Few things in life is better than bread and butter. Mm. Okay, I'm ready to eat like proper food. So we're gonna make a tuna, tuna, mayo, baguette, basically. Which I think will be really nice. So the one I had yesterday was kind of like olivey tuna, I guess. And this one is lemony, so yummy. I do feel like I've made a real beast of a sandwich here. I'm not really even sure how to tackle it. The bigger the sandwich, the better though, right? I think I preferred yesterday's tuna flakes, the olive ones, because these ones are just a bit lemony. I like it, I rate it. I just remembered I bought a red onion literally just to like chop up and put in this and I've totally forgotten. I made like the peanut butteriest peanut butter sandwich for dinner. Mm. Fun facts, we don't actually have a toaster in my new flat. Also, we are actually moving in December. I don't even think I'm ready to go into that yet, but um, maybe we'll get a new toaster then. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna fry bread this morning. I'm gonna make some scrambled tofu with fried bread and <laughs> whatever else I can find. I don't have much in the fridge, basically. Yeah, I managed to find this reduced. I don't often go for silken tofu, but why not? It is uh, very wet. Okay, so visually, maybe not the most beautiful thing I've ever made, but I actually think it will taste good. I mean, would I serve that to someone? No, I'd be embarrassed, but I, I'm making seconds. I'm gonna make another slice of bread to finish it off with. I really thought putting this little sprinkle of cheese on top would make this look tastier. <laughs> oh well. I got a very last minute invite to a Rose Inc. event. That's the beauty brand by Rose Huntington Whit Whitley, Whiteley. And not to be confused with the one she did with m &S. But honestly, such a lovely day out. It's like last couple of days of October and it is gorgeous. So sunny, so lovely. Literally, all I'm wearing, not cold. Well, doesn't that look lovely? Next up, I have lunch with Shada and I'm gonna be collecting some of my plants as well. Shader is still in the UK for a little bit longer, 
Uh, she's my old housemate, so it'll be nice to see her before she leaves. I've gotten to the level of influencer where I bring my own plants out for lunch to boost up the aesthetic. It's killing me. <laughs> so here's my one, aubergine without feta, and then their shaders with feta. Adorable. It's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. Sorry, you can't really see much, um, but I'm in an Uber with Christina. Uh, we're off to a Halloween party. <laughs> Oh, the suspense is the word I'm looking for. The suspense. She's in Monday 8am, I will be to lead her. <laughs> we went to a Halloween party, a vegan one on Friday night, which had lots of vegan pizza, very yummy. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.